Hello there. Welcome once again to Living on Purpose. My name is Fola Daniel Adelisi, also known as Fola Daniel Speaks. Today, I want to talk to you about the fact that business hinges on relationships. Business thrives on relationships. Businesses will succeed because of the network that you involve yourself with. A number of times, people think that money is what makes business work. I've seen people who have the money they need for their businesses and the businesses still failed. I've seen people who didn't have the money and they couldn't build the business. So the person who couldn't build the business because he doesn't have the money thinks that the money is the problem. And the person who has the money and still could not sustain the business has learned the hard way that sometimes money is not really the solution to the business. So what exactly? makes the difference in succeeding at your business you realize that relationship is pivotal to building most successful if not all successful businesses if you don't build the right network if you don't hinge your business success on relationships you can just keep doing things and you keep struggling I've entered places that I never would have entered if not for relationships. I have been to places to do business that I never would have gone to if not for relationships. So businesses hinge on relationships. If you understand that relationships will be more pivotal to your business than the ideas that you're trying to execute, then you focus on building strategic relationships that can promote your business promote your services, promote your skills, promote your abilities, you need to begin to look out intentionally for those relationships. Of course, you don't always go out asking people what they can do for you without you offering value in return. You offer value in return. You open your network to other people. You share with them ideas that they can leverage from. If you have information, throw it open to them. Don't be the one that holds information and you're constantly asking other people for support. Don't be the one that doesn't support other people and you're asking them to support you. When you throw yourself open, when you value people and show them that you value them, then it's easier for them to open themselves to you, show you too that they also value you by opening their network to you. Now, one of the ways you will find out that business hinges on relationships is when you don't commonize people. It's when you don't undervalue them. It's when you open up to them and treat them well, even without knowing what you can possibly get from them. The moment you show them that you respect them without knowing what you can possibly get from them, then you realize that they begin to open up to you. They begin to tell you the things that they do. Then they also tell you the people that they know who can help you out. I remember publishing my first book as an undergraduate at the university. I was looking out for somebody who can help me with some something. I needed the contact of the vice chancellor and I didn't know how I was going to reach the vice chancellor at the time. But as I was talking about it, somebody within my class decided to take me to the vice chancellor saying that I know the vice chancellor and I can get you access to him. That was how I gained access to the vice chancellor. Eventually, when I spoke to the vice chancellor and told him everything I wanted to do. He agreed. He believed that it was a fantastic idea and it paid for the production of my first book that I published as an undergraduate in the university. He paid for all the copies of the books that I published. And years later, I kept the relationship with that person. I kept the relationship with the vice chancellor, but I never would have been able to publish that first book without that relationship. And I didn't even know that this person had that kind of connection. I'm not saying that you should go about asking people for the connection that they have, but show that you can help them, value them, treat them well and people will open their network to you. You must never forget that businesses hinge on relationship. Now that's relationship in terms of what people can do for your business. The other kind of relationship is the people within the business who are running the business for you. Build a strong relationship with them as well. Don't think about the people outside of your business who are bringing businesses to you without thinking the people, without thinking about the people within the business who are helping you to run the business. I've seen some managers, I've seen some business owners make that terrible mistake of running a business and valuing people outside the business rather than valuing people inside the business. The people who run your businesses for you can run it down. 
they can run it aground they can destroy everything and don't forget in many cases they have nothing to lose other than the salary that you pay them so if you decide not to value them they can also go somewhere else and your business goes down so value the relationship within value the relationship without because businesses will always thrive businesses will always succeed businesses will always do well because of one major thing apart from your knowledge and money at your disposal and that thing is relationships there are some businesses that don't even have money they lost liquidity but they did not lose relationship and if you lose money without losing relationship you can build that business again if you lose businesses today and you still sustain your relationship you can keep it so make sure that you don't lose your businesses Thank you. Please head on now to www.foladaniel.com and check out youtube.com forward slash Speaks. Thank you.